I'm doing all this gentleness and one of y'all still gonna pull y'all hair out. Somebody still gonna pull their hair out. Do not take your hair out if you're in a rush. Don't take your hair out if you're sleepy. Don't take your hair out if you're tipsy. Well, wine tipsy, not tequila tipsy. Be careful. Just be careful, y'all. You want a supermodel pose? I'm your real friend, Winnie. Hey, babes. It is your girl, Winnie Jean. That was so ugly. Hey, y'all. It's early. And I have to take my hair down before I get in the shower so I can, like, wash my hair and do the whole nine yards. And I wanted to show you guys what I do when I take my locks down. I'm kind of shooting two videos at once. Um, part one is going to be how I take out this particular technique um, from this video. And part two is going to be what I do to my hair after I take it down slash prepping for another set of locks because I'm about to put more locks in my hair. So that'll be more like a how I prep my hair for locks video. It's a lot going on. It's going to make sense later. Let's start off with how I take these out. So, um, I ran these locks into the ground, but I want to save them. So when I take these down, I put them in like a little baggie. And before I put them back in, I'll wash them and air dry them. If you want a video on how I wash and reuse my locks, because that's really, really important, especially not only for, you know, saving costs, but it's also really good for the environment, then I can definitely make a video on that because your girl is cheap and I reuse some hair hunty. I'm going to show you guys on these two locks how to take them down. How you take your locks down is very dependent on how you install them. I installed these particular locks by doing the knotless method. I braided them in and just wrapped them. If you want to see the entire video, go look at this video. I've worn these for about a month and as you can see, hair is coming out of them a bit. I really don't mind because I have curly texture hair and the locks have a bit of texture so it doesn't look weird. It just looks Looks really natural so to take these out let me get all up in your face let me get in this one will be really really easy let's start with this one so the hair is pretty much already out you want to just keep untwisting it until the hair is at the root right then I'm gonna just take these strands and first they're twisted and I untwist them and then I get to the braided portion and I'm just taking out the braid and you want to be really gentle because people are always saying how they, you know, lost hair. I've, I've heard horror stories about faux locks and how they've been bad for people's hair. But I find that the mistakes always are made when you're taking your hair down. People will rush and rip their hair out taking it down or cut it taking it down. So you want to just be really, really gentle. And I'm working this braid out little by little. Okay. So now the lock is starting to slide out and I'm just gonna continue to pull the hair apart gently until the lock comes completely out. So it's in pretty good shape. It's a little fuzzy, but you can still see the little loop. So these can definitely be reused. And like I said, if you want a video on how I wash and reuse my locks, then I can definitely do that. Now this is this section of my hair. I'm gonna use this Restore and Repair Water um, with Jamaican Castor Oil by As I Am. It has Jamaican castor oil, vitamin C, and stuffy. So I'm just gonna spray this on the little section and then comb it out starting at the ends. I like to comb my hair out per section and then when all of your locks are down, all of your hair is already detangled as opposed to taking it down and then detangling it. And I'm just gonna throw it in like a little loose twist so that it doesn't get back tangled. And that is the first one. Now this one is gonna be a little bit different. As you see, it held up a bit better. So what I like to do when it doesn't give me anything to work with is I kind of untwist the lock at the root and it'll expose my hair. This little twist is my hair. Then I'm gonna pull it out gently, gently, gently. And now I have that braid separate. I'm going to go in and do the same thing. Gently untwist the bottom. And, and, and I'm doing all this gentleness. And one of y'all still going to pull y'all hair out. Somebody still going to pull their hair out. Do not take your hair out if you're in a rush. Don't take your hair out if you're sleepy. Don't take your hair out if you're tipsy. Well, wine tipsy, not tequila tipsy. Be careful. Just be careful, y'all. I done tried to told y'all now. And the cool thing about taking out this technique is that you honestly don't even need scissors to take it out. I'm just using my hands to take the locks out. And uh, you can use conditioner or water, whatever you want to use to help you detangle your hair and a detangling brush or a comb of your choice or if you use your fingers i would suggest you use a comb for this just because depending on how long you keep your hair up you may have dead hair 
and you want to make sure you get all of the dead and shed hair out before you start washing it because it can swell up with your hair and create a tangled mess oh my god i've done that before and it was not fun so i would personally suggest combing your hair out with a comb or a brush prior to shampooing but that's just me all right so as you can see the lock is just coming out now we have our little section as you see i left these in for about a month and you get a little bit of like debris in the roots now if you leave them in for let's say two to three months that little debris section can get thick nicky thick okay this is my hair completely detangled i'm gonna just put it in a light twist that's that i'm gonna take out the rest of my hair and come back and show you guys what it looks like when i'm done girl i look crazy okay so this is my hair all taken out as you can see faux locks do not pull my hair out um this is the hair that shed after about a month but clearly i have hair left and it wouldn't be it wouldn't look like this much if my hair wasn't so long so i have long hair thick hair this is the shed hair so if you want to see how i go from looking like this to more clean and like this then you'll want to go ahead and watch my next video so i'm just tossing my locks in this little baggie i'm gonna put it in my little weave drawer so yeah i'm about to shampoo and deep condition and get my hair together girl and i will see you guys in another video love you guys bye